Words to Live By. Part 2. More Words of Wisdom, from the Lord, our God and Savior. Prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare in the desert, the way of the Lord. Make a straight path, in these dry and parched lands, for the Holy One of Israel. Let every valley be exalted, and every mountain and hill brought low. Let the crooked places be made straight, and the rough places smooth. For the glory of the Lord, shall be revealed from heaven. And all people, shall behold it, together. Declares the Lord. The Joy of the Lord Beloved, come and be filled with the joy of the Lord, which never fades, nor does it slumber, nor will it ever pass away. A flood of joy, flowing into the innermost parts of your being, cascading through your spirit, reaching deep into that hidden place, known only to the Lord. A place crafted by my own fingertips, delicately fashioned, so those of the flesh, may know me, unlocked and opened, by the trusting in, and the knowledge of, the greatest of all loves. A love which surpasses time and space, life, and death. A place of perfect peace. Yea, inside pure, and undefiled love. Love of such a kind, cleansing every part seen and unseen, known and unknown. The love of such power and majesty, even that which has been corrupted, is restored in the image of God. From grace, to grace. From light, to the light. My glory shone in you, and through you, bright, and shining. A flame brought forth from my own glory, shared with my beloved, forever. A flame which can never be put out, nor can it flicker, nor shall it be covered over again. For where I am, there is no darkness at all. Says the Lord Yahushua. A trumpet and alarm. Let all who behold my words, look upon them as an ensign, as a waving banner brought forth and set up, for this wayward generation, even as a trumpet and alarm, blowing continually upon the wall. Let its sound, rush through the streets of the cities. Let its noise be carried into the wilderness, even to the outermost isles. And let all those who have ears to hear, listen, and be silent before their God and pray. Indeed let all in the earth partake of my word, and be brought into deep and profound silence. And consider, says the Lord, the stone. I shall increase the sound of my voice seven times, even as Jericho, until all things break, and all are broken. Many broken unto death, ground to dust beneath the stone which shall be placed in Zion. For the stone shall become a great mountain, filling the whole earth. While still others, my hidden treasure, my battered and bruised sheep, the wild of my flock, are broken, and come to rest solidly atop this same stone, the rock, of my enduring promise, says the Lord. The Lord your righteousness. The Lord your God has a holy one, he is the head of the body, the true sanctuary, the only life without end. Behold, he is a strong tower, a fortified city in the day of battle, an all-encompassing fire, the mighty and strong one, whose rod is made of iron, the lawgiver, the source of life, by which all things consist, your carpenter and redeemer, the salvation of God. Therefore, wait upon the Lord with meekness and fear, with unwavering trust. Wait for him. For he is the fountain of living waters, for all who thirst, a fruitful vine for the hungry, a wealth of riches, for all those who come to me empty. Therefore, beloved, give him glory. Lift up your voices with everlasting praise. Bring thanksgiving to the altar, and offer up your hearts before him. Shout his name to the heavens. For he is the Lord your righteousness. Yahushua, Ha Mashiach. Emmanuel.